Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Content Manager Assistant. And a lot of you are having issues where your PS Vita is not being read on your computer and you're just having connection issues. So I have a fresh Vita here, updated from 3.63 firmware to 3.73. And the reason why I did that is because I'm preparing it for a very cool video where we're going to be installing H Encore 2 downgrading and installing SD2 video adapter all in one video that way everyone has a clear understanding of what we're doing and it's going to be a very fully detailed video so make sure to stay tuned for that upcoming drop here very soon I have this PS Vita 2000 and we're going to be connecting content manager for the very first time we're going to see what we can do to get it working and hopefully we'll come across some issues that way we can solve them and see what we can do to fix that so I have my USB cable here and I apologize for kind of the dim setup on my Vita it's just my light bulb here gives off a lot of heat and the touchscreen tends to get glitchy so I apologize for that let's move on and connect our cable and see what happens so right away your Vita should be trying to connect to your computer. And I do have a reliable cable that's connected to a 3.0 port. So here it is, could not connect to the device. Uh, let's see, suggested actions for PC. Let's see what it says. So it says try following, try the following. Install Content Manager Assistant on your PC when select Install Content Manager Assistant. Installation will begin on your PC. Very good. Check that Content Manager Assistant is running. When Content Manager Assistant is running, an icon will be displayed in the notification area. On this system, go to the home screen and select Settings System and then turn, turn USB Power Supply off. Okay. So in our settings, we'll go down to System and here it is USB power supply let's turn that off to charge sorry to charge to change the setting the USB connection will be terminated and then reestablished do you want to continue hit yes very good let's go back home <clears throat> sorry for my rough voice I've been recording all night and I keep screwing up so let's go into content manager Let's start it up. Let's go to copy content. Connecting, please wait. And sometimes you will have to install the QCMA drivers. Let's go to PC. Let's connect through USB cable. Connecting, please wait. It should connect right away, but it looks like we're going to have problems. Yes, cannot connect to the PC. Let's hit OK. Now we have a new window that says, is Content Manager Assistant already installed on the PC you want to connect this system to? Say no, because obviously we don't have it. And install Content Manager Assistant to on your PC. Connect this system to the PC using USB cable and select Install Content Manager Assistant. Then installation will begin on your PC. You can also download Content Manager Assistant from the following website. cma.dl.playstation.net slash cma slash. Okay, let's go to our web browser here real quick. And let's type that in. Let me move my PS Vita real quick. I'll have this link in the description down below for you. Okay, Content Manager Assistant for PlayStation. Okay, we have this link ready to go just in case our PS Vita isn't able to do that. All right, so just added my PS Vita window down below, down below me. Let's go back. 
and let's hit install content manager assistant let's see here there's our desktop let's move on to hit install content manager assistant and down below i have my desktop well oh, something just popped up there on the desktop and it says cd drive cma setup okay so it did the job back on our Vita it says on your PC complete the installation of content manager assistant after the installation is complete select connect with PC before we hit this button right here connect with PC on our Vita let's go to our desktop and make sure we install that and clicking on that notification will bring up choose what to do with this disk install or run program from your media and if you missed it just open up your file explorer here and go to this PC and you should see the bubble icon there double click on that and now a user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device hit yes so this is the CMA setup sorry for the missing screen there and select the language for the installation from the choices below so choose your language I'll choose English preparing to install extracting assistant.msi this program will install content manager assistant hit next I accept the terms in the license agreement hit install when you select finish the database for the PS Vita system will be created here are the folders of which the Vita will send info back and forth. You can change the folders down here. Hit OK. Connecting US, sorry, US. Connecting using USB cable for PS Vita systems only or connecting using the network. Let's hit OK. To find your notification, go down to the lower right and open up your tray. There is Content Manager Assistant. Right click, hit Settings and here we go looks like it's all set so back on our Vita hit connect with PC let's go do it yeah it, it took way too long connect this system to a PC using a USB cable so we did turn off the USB power supply let's try again try to use different cables and different USB ports on your PC so now what we're gonna do is go back let's try the Wi-Fi connection back on our assistant app go to network connection settings and check this connect to PS Vita system using network and hit OK and back on our system let's do add device is content manager assistant already installed on the PC you want to connect the system to hit yes and hit OK. Looks like we got some kind of dial up here at the top. Hmm. Still nothing though. Nothing on the desktop. I don't see anything under register devices. Hmm. We might want to restart our computer while doing this or restart our console so let's restart the Vita here real quick let's try the USB cable one more time and it's taking too long here hmm okay so let's hit OK Let's go to content manager one more time let's copy content let's go 
go to our PC. Try USB cable one more time. Hit OK. Let's go back and try the Wi-Fi connection. Let's add a device. Hit yes and still nothing. Hmm? All right, let's go back to this content manager assistant. Let's download the latest version and we'll just run it again. Let's run as administrator, hit yes. Preparing to install. Let's hit next. Content manager will close. You want to continue, hit yes. Setup has finished installing content manager, finish. Very good. Now we will install drivers to the computer. Let's install the QCMA drivers. Go to the second link in the description down below. And I'll take you to vita.hacks.guide. And they have a nice little uh, link to the QCMA driver. And go under instructions here. And under seven, you'll see this link the QCMA driver so click on that and it will automatically down a town download a QCMA driver underscore win USB dot exe so let's run that and we do have a user account control window pop-up hit yes and here is our device driver installation wizard hit next the drivers are now installing Microsoft PSV to type device updated hit finish and we will restart our computer back again with a fully restarted PC and hopefully we'll have some luck now let's connect our USB cable go to content manager and copy content sorry about that and I'm having a feeling that it's not gonna work because it's taking too long. Usually it connects right away to our PC USB cable. Yeah, this is gonna fail. All right, so this thing is failing to connect. One thing we can check is our firewall settings. Let's go back to our desktop and let's open up our control panel and under system and security Let's go to Windows Defender Firewall and select, whoops, under this, select the Allow an App Through Windows Firewall. And here, we should be able to see Content Manager. Here it is, so it's unchecked. And it's private, so let's go to Change Settings. And select Content Manager and hit Public. And let hit OK. And now let's give this another go. Back on our Vita. And there it is. There is our desktop. Perfect. Now obviously in order for this to work, you have to be on the same network, right? And here is my passcode. So it says an unregistered PS Vita system is trying to connect to the PC using network. Enter the following number on the PS Vita system to register it with this application. Okay. Let's go back and enter our numbers. We have two, two, six, seven, four, two, two, five, and hit OK. Let's register. Device is registered. Let's hit next. Connecting. Perfect. We now have a connection going on our PS Vita. And back on our computer, the Mac, Mac address is displayed, so I'll blur that out. But here's our PS Vita connected. Perfect. 
Back on our Vita, we have the desktop connected, ready to go, and here you'll copy your content. So if you're having trouble with the USB connection, just go with the Wi-Fi and enable it through there. It's a lot easier and I think it's more efficient than trying to connect your cable because it's just, as you can see, it's not working and a lot of you guys are having that problem. So hopefully that helped a lot of you. I know most of you were having that USB connection uh, problem and sometimes you have to update all sorts of different things on your computer in order for it to work and my computer is you know the latest it's not the latest and greatest but it is pretty beefy and it has very good specs and anything I connect to is like very snappy but for some reason the PS Vita just has a very hard time and I got lucky with my 1000 because it just connected right away no problem and there you go so connect it through your Wi-Fi connection, make sure it's on the same network, and you should be able to copy the, your content, especially H Encore 2, which is very important for a lot of you guys to get your Vita going on the custom firmware. That way you can start using Homebrew. So that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.